guys welcome back to the craft day it's it has been a minute so i'm so glad to be back with you all but um i have a lot of stuff loaded in this video and i just wanted to touch on a few things before we get started um you will notice this coaster in the video um i used this a lot because my customers prefer I have like a pink and green um, coaster that kind of mimics a floral pattern. And so I have a alcohol ink from Pinata. It's called Senorita Magenta. So if you're curious about that color, I just want to warn you guys about using it on your molds because it does bleed onto other projects. So I have had to buy other molds to uh, compensate for not using them with this particular color. Now I do use other um, other alcohol inks. You won't see it, you can't see it very well, but I use yellow and green in this area that's um, less pink. And so it doesn't bleed onto other projects. So that's just a uh, warning for you guys if you want to try this technique just be very careful it does bleed onto other projects but it's very beautiful the other thing is these boxes you'll see these lovely boxes in the video i got them from dollar tree they come in small medium and large and they are perfect for coasters so I love these. The only thing is when you get them from Dollar Tree, each box costs a dollar. And I also bulk order online. Since I sell my items, I bulk order them to the store or I get it shipped to the house. The only thing with shipping it to the house, it costs a little more than it does if you find it in the store. But if you ship to the store, it's going to be the same price. All right, guys. Thank you. Let's head over. this coaster. I had a Mother's Day thing going on so I did a uh, pin and coaster sets.
some custom orders with me. Thanks for watching, please subscribe.